Hi, Divine Souls. This is Tamala, and we are doing empowerment games today. Today is Monday, January 7th, 2019, and if you're here, give me some hearts. Um, let me know that you're present, because what we are going to do is we're going to play a game. Now, those of you who know me um, know that I have a high council and um, a council of light and a, um, a high council. And one of the magnificent beings that is in my high council is Green Tara. Isn't she awesome? Yay! I love her so much. She is, um, I, and I got this for Christmas. Yay! Um, she is one of the beings that's really present right now for me and my work as far as um, helping all of us ground into our uh, earthly experience, the things that we want. And she is actually stepping into more prominence right now because of um, the work that she's doing with helping us um, in the transition and transmutation of the earth plane into the fifth dimension. And so that's what we're talking about right now uh, in, in a lot of the channeling work that I'm doing. And in fact, she's one of the high council members that's going to be giving us uh, advice tonight and counsel on setting our intentions for 2019 so that we can actually get them, so that we can have them and make them happen. So uh, scroll down on this page and look for um, the one that says it's happening tonight, the post that says it's happening tonight, uh, and register for that um, because that's going to be really exciting. So what I want to do um, is one of my callings this year is to add more fun into our life because we all have had the experience of everything being just freaking heavy and yucky and not fun. So um, one of my intentions this year is to help us transition into making life not miserable anymore. <laughs> This is not supposed to be miserable. It's supposed to be happy and joyful and fun and inspiring and exciting and passionate and thrilling and all those wonderful things. And so that's what uh, these things are going to be, are going to be fun, interesting things. But Tara wants to help us ground. So um, the question that we're going to ask is... What is going to be most supportive for us so that we can ground our dreams into our reality this week? All right. And so I have four, um, I have four cards, four decks of cards here. And we are going to start with um, the Masters, Mystics, Saints, and Gemstone Guardian cards. So these are going to give us inspiration clarity on what it is that's going to be most supportive for us and helping us ground this week. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, um, let's see, um, well, those three cards just popped out, so that's what we're getting. <laughs> and so what you're going to do is you are going to choose Um, you're going to choose this, the saints. Um, this is card number one, card number two, or card number three. So the first one is St. Jude. The second one is St. Anne. And the third one is Paulus Athena. So whichever one of those speaks to you. Sorry, I'm trying to find the camera. Um, number one number two, number three, choose that and post it in the comments so I know which one is yours. And what you're going to do is you're going to find that 
this is going to give you information and support for the week and grounding in your dreams, your intentions, those things that you really want to manifest. And it's going to give you some help with the how. Okay. So once you've chosen your card, again, post it in the comments. And then I'm going to read it for you. So if you chose... Um, card number one, you chose St. Jude, <clears throat> then this is the um, gemstone that's going to be supporting you this week. <clears throat> and it is Axonite. I'm going to read you what it tells you, what it's asking you to, uh, to think about and consider this week. Are you able to find order within creative chaos? Are you going in too many directions and feeling energetically depleted? Take the time you need to rest, regroup, and rejuvenate. Look deeply for the clarity in the confusion. Recognize that less than positive experiences provide tools for developing an emotionally mature backbone. So those are questions that you're going to ask yourself this week so that um, you know better how to ground in what it is that you want. And you can call on St. Jude. And St. Jude says, I am grateful for my life's experiences. These are the things that um, St. Jude would encourage you to speak as your affirmations. I am grateful for my life's experiences. I learn from the past and realize there is always help and hope. I see my path and I am focused on where I need to go. My mind is clear and I stay focused on my priorities. So that's yours if you picked card number one. Now, if you picked card number two, that is um, St. Anne, okay? And so remember, post in the comments which one you picked and whether it resonates for you. So St. Anne, if you pick that, then your helper this week is Azurite Malachi. And it's, these are the questions you can ask yourself this week to help you ground. Are you connected with the all-knowing and the all-seeing part of yourself? Allow for the unimpeded flow of information, knowledge, and wisdom that is within you. Seek out calming experiences such as meditation and visualizations. Those will help you this week. Take notice of the signs and symbols around you and contemplate their meaning. And one of the things I teach in my coaching classes and in my masterminds is about setting a vocabulary for communication with your spirit helpers. So if you have that, look for those signs because spirit is going to be supporting you this week. So the affirmations that St. Anne ha have for you, and you can call on St. Anne to help you this week, is I release ego, arrogance, and vanity. I am calm. I am at peace. My spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. Guidance from my higher self lights my path. I trust my intuition and my internal guidance system. So those are affirmations that you can use this week. And if that resonates for you, post that in the comments. All right. And if you chose card number three, that is Pallas Athena. And so this is your helper this week, Bismuth. So these are the questions you can ask yourself this week. Are you in touch with your creative intelligence? 
Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? Use the symbols of geometry to help create pathways for developing the mental body. That's interesting. Take one step at a time, knowing that answers will be revealed to you as you work systematically and methodically. And if you see this one, this particular um, piece, it's full of geometric shapes and patterns. It's awesome. So these are the affirmations, uh, and you can call on Pallas Athena this, this week to help you. I realize my fullest potential spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. I see the patterns in my life and follow the course towards higher knowledge. I approach life creativ creatively <laughs> by thinking outside the norm. A rainbow of light and positive energy expands my consciousness. So let me know which ones that you have, which ones you picked and if they resonate for you. And um, each week, every Monday, I'm going to be doing empowerment tips. And those are going to be on my business page at Tamala, your empowerment um, priestess, which is Tamala Yep, Y-E-P. So hop over there every Monday for the empowerment tip. And then I'm going to also um, be in here in this empowerment party to do empowerment games uh, also uh, on Monday. So hopefully we'll be able to generate lots of folks in here so that we're having a party around empowering ourselves and creating the kinds of life that we desire. You're welcome to share this out to anyone that could benefit and help me share my message that everyone can lead an empowered life. Thank you. I love you. Have a magnificent week this week and I will see you soon.